TV6 investigates drug trends in Upper Michigan. In the first parts of our investigation, drug trends in the UP show a decrease of cases in Marquette County. Yet the battle at the border of counties of Wisconsin to stop the flow of drugs continues. Tonight in Part 3, TV6 senior reporter Jerry Tudor highlights the effects of substance abuse on families and the damage addiction can do. He's here in the studio to show us more. Jerry. Thank you, Cody and Grace. I spoke with Marquette County Probate Judge Cheryl Hill and Great Lakes Recovery CEO Greg Tutant to find out how they work to provide treatment options to those looking to break free from addiction. The prosecutor's office says more than a pound of meth was seized in a November search warrant by the upset team. There, they found a large amount of stolen items from several businesses, crystal meth, and other evidence of drug distribution. Deputies say they took 41 grams of meth, 1.7 grams of fentanyl, 1.1 grams of cocaine, and two firearms during a search warrant. As law enforcement and the court systems deal with drug cases, the effects on families have been significant. Judge Cheryl Hill is the probate judge for Marquette County. She says the effects of meth use are hurting families in Upper Michigan. What I see is uh, escalating use of methamphetamine in the area. And unfortunately, you cannot be a meth user and be a good parent. You just cannot do it. So I would say out of the drug cases that I have here, 90% of them, the parents are using methamphetamine in and around the children. Hill says in the most severe cases, children sometimes must be removed from a home while the parents undergo treatment for drug addiction. Trauma is the main problem that the family has going on. So immediately we're in there trying to deal with the mental health issues of the, kill, the, the children, placing them where someplace safe so that they can kind of get back to normal while well, mom and dad do the tough work. And it is tough getting off drugs. Hill also says she's working with legislators and even the governor to get more funding for foster parents in Upper Michigan. Meanwhile, the Great Lakes Recovery Center's CEO, Greg Tuton, says their services are needed now more than ever. You know, a lot of our stakeholders involve the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services, local law enforcement and court systems, and we all work together to look at uh, remediating a lot of the factors that certainly lead to uh, situational long-term drug and alcohol usage and try to look at how we can prevent that. So, uh, so we've been strong partners for a lot of years in how we can help combat the, the issues around drugs and alcohol. Tutan says new state statistics show meth accounts for more than half of drug seizures in the UP. He says it's important for agencies to work together to try to prevent substance abuse before it begins. We're seeing certainly not only families being torn apart with this, uh, but the, the chronic nature of the trauma that gets uh, done on family systems. And so even though uh, folks are in a treatment setting and we're fortunate to provide both residential treatment and detox programming, outpatient-based services, uh, the, the impact that drugs and alcohol have in people's lives certainly is, uh, is significant. Great Lakes Recovery Centers is a nonprofit licensed substance use disorder treatment facility. If you or someone you know needs help with recovery, you can call 906-228-9696. Judge Hill also told me that the need for foster families in Upper Michigan has never been greater. In fact, Hill says there are 10,000 children in the state of Michigan in need of foster homes. We've put more information on how you or someone you know can seek treatment for substance abuse or sign up to be a foster family on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app. Cody?